since you are all Georgia Tech students, I can do this. Uh, if you weren't, I probably couldn't. So look at the ratio dn over n factorial. The number of derangements divided by the total number of permutations. Now, think about what the formula for derangements was. It was n0, which is n factorial, minus n choose 1 times n minus 1 factorial, plus n choose 2, n minus 2 factorial, minus n choose 3 times n minus 3 factorial, etc. Now, let's just do a little analysis on this. n choose 1 is n over 1 factorial. And this is n times n minus 1 over 2 factorial. This is n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 over 3 factorial. So the numerators all have n factorial. Now, what's left? 1 minus 1 over 2 factorial plus 1 over 3 factorial minus 1 over 4 factorial plus 1 over 5 factorial, but et cetera, et cetera. And since you've all taken calculus, and you know about Taylor series. What is that? What's the Taylor series for e to the x? Taylor series for e to the x is 1 plus x plus x squared over 2 factorial plus x cubed over 3 factorial plus et cetera, like that, right? So what's that? That's e to the minus 1. So when you divide by the n factorial, because I want to take dn over n factorial. <coughs> Excuse me, the engineer just <coughs> blew his eardrums out. OK, so the ratio in the limit goes to 1 over e. And that's the calculus e, I mean, 2.7, et cetera. So it, it's, you know, it's close to a third. That's, that's a surprise. That's a surprise. Question? Well, I want to talk about probability. Total, the, the number of derangements over uh, n factorial. So if you want to say how many are in versus the total, so then it becomes a ratio. dn over n factorial. That's the probability in a very natural way. So it goes to 1 over e. Big surprise. OK. OK, so there's our first example of a calculation which can be done quickly and compactly using inclusion-exclusion.